Hey guys, I'm April from Giggle Glitter Graphics, and today we're in my office looking at my printer. <laughs> so I've been asked a few times how I print my principles, and I use the Epson EcoTank 3830. This is kind of the mid-range EcoTank model. It does have a scanner on top. I use it sometimes. It's not bad. I mostly photocopy on it, to be honest. Uh, this is a front load paper tray right here, and then the printed pages come out the front. Some of the lower end models, the pages go in the top. So take with that what you will. <laughs> um, the ink on these is really cool. So this lifts up, this opens up, and then you refill the ink with bottles. You just stick in here, and there's no cartridges. You refill from bottles, you fill up these little tanks hence the ego tank and it is very affordable and the print quality is so very very nice i have already loaded up some paper in here for my regular paper i use hp premium 32 paper it is a fairly thick and luxurious feeling paper it is not thin copy paper i like how it feels i like how the colors look on it it's just an experience for me and that is what i prefer for cardstock, I use Nina cardstock. I'm not sure what the weight is on this. I will have links to all three of these items and maybe anything else I mention in the description down below. So you can check those out. But this cardstock is not quite as white as the paper is. It doesn't really bother me. I do feel like my prints sometimes come out a little dark, but once the ink dries, it tones down just a little bit. But they do come out just a touch dark on them. So I've got like a, <laughs> it wants me to fill the ink now, so I'm going to have to cancel out of that. So anyway, let's go to the computer and I'm going to show you how I print and it's not, it's not hard at all. I know some people are intimidated by the printing process. How do you print front and back? I think that this machine does print automatically front and back. I don't use that feature. I do it manually. So that is what I'm going to show you today. All right. So I'm on my computer now. I have a Windows 11 computer, so all of your commands might look slightly differently. But this is my Haunted House journal kit. It has 16 journal pages, four decorative room backer pages, and four journaling pages. Most of my kits have the same types of pages, and then about 12 ephemera sheets. So I'm going to show you how I go about printing these sheets. I'm just going to, okay, so I'm printing the whole kit. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I print these sheets. So if I'm printing the entire kit, normally I would pick about half of the pages. It could be any half. It could be this top row here, and that's half the pages. I just right click. Um, Windows 11 wants to hide the print option. I go to show more options. I click print, <laughs> and then this window will pop up. Um, this is cut off a little bit down here. This says fit picture to frame. You want to uncheck fit picture to frame. It will, it, it will try to print it borderlessly. Um, it can cause some issues on the edge of the print. I always just trim the white edges off. If you have a printer that does full page printing, you can totally experiment with that. From here, I want to go into the actual printer settings. So I'm going to go to options, which is right here printer properties. And now for the Epson, this is what this menu looks like. I've got it set to plain paper. You will also, I've used the plain paper setting for both the cardstock and the paper on my, on my printer. And then go to more settings. And if you want the highest quality print, you want to make sure that this little thing is dialed all the way up. If you're printing things with a lot of black or dark colors or just a lot of saturated color, Bumping this down the high, which I have done if I want it to go a little faster, it, it will leave lines in your prints. Um, and that's not really pleasant unless you don't mind that and you just want it to be a little faster and use a little less ink. I always print on the highest quality. And then I leave everything else the same. It's pick eight and a half by 11. Um, it will automatically pick. It has it set to landscape. It will automatically do the rest of this. The big thing is setting that quality setting all the way to the top. So I'm going to click OK. I've not changed any other settings on my Epson. It's just the print quality. And then I would tell it to print and it'll start to print. Now, I don't want to print all 12 of these right now. So instead of 12, I'm going to print. Let me just print that lady. 
um, and then you can see how the print comes out, um, how fast the print comes out on the printer. It is a very fast printer. So I'm going back to print, unchecking fit picture to frame. Usually once you've printed with the options, it will kind of keep them, but here, options, printer properties. Let me double check that because I think mine has gotten set down. It's all the way up. All right, good. I always check it. And then I click print. So now it's sending it to the printer. It is a wireless printer. Oop, I'm gonna reach over here and we can wait for that to come out. And so I want you to get an idea of how fast this printer is. It will take a few to print a full color page like this but it is surprisingly faster than um, some old school inkjet printers. So if you don't have a newer inkjet printer and you're using something old and it gives you a lot of problems and it's in the budget, I highly recommend checking out this Epson EcoTank line because they just, I just, I'd given up on inkjet printers forever ago and moved to laser. I had a color laser, but color laser didn't give me the colors that an inkjet printer would give. So I'm waiting for it to kind of poke out here. I don't really want to fast forward through this part because I want you to get an idea of how fast this prints. Here it comes. I have found with this model, if I grab, if I'm printing a bunch at the same time and I grab this sheet, I get excited and it hits the end and I grab the sheet too quickly, every once in a while it'll suck it back in and get it stuck in the back. So be patient with the printer. Don't like snatch your stuff off the, off the rack and do what I do. And then you end up with a mangled piece of paper. So here she comes. I love this kit. I just can't wait to make my Halloween haunted house journal. I'm already thinking of ideas for it. We're almost there. Thank you for bringing with me. I just wanted you to um, experience how, how long it takes. I won't make you sit through this again. I just wanted you to see how long it takes for this printer to print all of these full color sheets. And there we go. All right, and you can see, I mean, not sure how well you can tell on camera, but the quality on this, my printer's still chit-chatting to me back there. It's just, it's beautiful. I don't think I've ever had a printer so nice. The best thing I ever bought. All right, so now I wanna print on the other side. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take the paper out so you can see the markings. This printer is marked with where things go. The printed side, the side that you want your print on, is going to go face down. So I'm just going to put her back in exactly like she came out, right like that. So whatever's on the bottom, that's what gets printed on. If you have a different model printer, it, it'll probably be, it might be different. It might be the other way around. So look for a marking like that or test print and put an X on the pages and, and figure out which way you need to put your paper back in. So if I were printing the whole kit and I just like to play roulette and see what ends up on the back of what, I print half the pages, I put them right back in here, the whole pile of them. Close that up, pull that out, and then I go back to the computer. All right, so now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. I'm gonna pick out another image that's gonna go on the back. Let's just grab one of these backer pages. So this is if I wanted to target and decide exactly what I wanted on front and back, more options, print, uncheck, fit picture to frame. I'm Again, I'm double checking. I always double check because sometimes my settings get messed up. More settings. Quality is set all the way to the max. Again, if you have a different printer, your settings might be different, but it's like the highest quality, the best quality. I always set it to the top, the top quality. Now I'm not gonna make you sit through watching it come out of the printer again. I'm just going to hit print, send it over, and I will meet you back at the printer. All right, here we are. 
got the other side of this printed again. Love how it looks, came out great. Now you wanna make sure again that, cause like I know when this comes off, all I have to do is go like this for this model of printer and everything will be right side up on the other side. Um, with a print like this that I put on the back, this doesn't really have a very distinct up and down. I mean, it is darker on the bottom than it is on the top. So that is, that's how I would like it to be. <laughs> that's how I designed it. But you're going to want to make sure you get the orientation correct. And for this printer, you would just take this out, sit it right back in here and print it on the other side and everything will be the same direction up and down. So hopefully you found this helpful for print settings, for the, the print settings should translate to other printers. You just really wanna make sure you have that quality setting set high. Um, I know that the mouse pointer was not showing in this video. I am gonna try to put some little icons and some little circles and stuff in on the screens. <laughs> this is my first time trying to screen capture a video. I'm not sure why it doesn't capture the mouse. So I'm gonna try to clean that up, but please, ask your questions below and I will try my best to help you, but hopefully seeing the process on how I print these pages, I that I do it at home and they come out just beautifully and I find it to be very, very affordable after, after the initial printer purchase. <laughs> the ink itself, I think I've only refilled this once since November and if you watch my videos, you know how much I print. You know how much paper I'm printing and I, it's about due for a, sub, like a top off again, but the ink, and I'll link to the ink as well, the ink is very affordable as far as printer ink goes. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see some of the things I make with these principles, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.